Let's Cook ASMR episode, episode number two on the channel, and I am super, super excited to share this one with you all today. Not only is this going to be a really, really easy one that anybody can do, but it's also delicious. We're going to be cooking up a couple of nice, juicy sirloin steaks and a delicious potato chopped up, put it in the skillet. It gets really nice and crispy, but still breaks apart. It's just, it's delicious. Beautiful. So, anyway, uh, before we get into the video, I just want to say this is the last episode with the old grill. In the next episode, we'll be introducing the new grill, which is awesome. I've already used it a couple times. So much nicer. I love it, and I can't wait to share some new stuff on that one with you guys. But outside of that, what else? Um, there is some background noise in this one. There was like a birthday party going on a couple doors down when I was recording this. So um, might be like a smidge of background noise, but I try my best. Outside of that, thank you guys for all the support already. It really means a lot to me. I know a ton of you have come over from my main channel, which, by the way, I'll uh, drop a link down below where you can watch me eating this meal in a video. But thank you guys so, so much for all of the support already. We are at, like, almost 700 subscribers, which is insane. So thank you guys so much, and let's get into delicious meal. Alright, so here we are. We are going to be starting out with a couple of nice steak tenderloins. Uh, just picked these up from Kroger. Got our meat hook, of course. And you can use a spatula if you like, but I would highly, highly recommend a meat hook. It just makes it so much easier. Got our seasoning of choice. I'll be using garlic pepper salt. It's just garlic salt with some pepper mixed in. A little bit of A1. Don't mind if I do. Got some butter that is going to be used for the We've got our potato, of course. Meat thermometer. You can just go off of uh, go off of like timing. I like to just check the thermometer just in case. Ready to go. We're gonna brush off the gray 
Nights here, and I'm going to remind you guys again, I would highly, highly recommend uh, just double checking if you're using a wire bristle brush um, to make sure none of those wires get caught in the grates, because those can get caught in your food, and it is not good. You definitely don't want that. those on there. Um, I'll be showing you guys uh, different methods to cooking steak. This is a very basic one, so in the future we'll cover uh, different ways to, to grill up your steak. But since we've got those on the grill, we'll go ahead and start our potato. Just gonna chop it up into nice thin slices. season up these potatoes. I like to use a little bit of Himalayan 
ready to flip here. Um, just a probably about five minutes or so on each side, maybe a little bit more. You can just tell based on how they look, like how much longer they have. But the longer you do these, the crispier they are going to get, which is which is great. And just a little tip. Um, if you're grilling these with a pan that has a cover on top of it, uh, that will make the, uh, the cooking process go faster if you put the lid on, but your potatoes are not going to be as crispy as they would be without it. So we'll come back and check on our steaks here. It's been about another, uh, probably about six to eight minutes at this point. And I'm just gonna get a uh, temperature on this right now. I like to pull mine off when they get to about 135. When you pull your steaks off the grill, they're still cooking on the inside. So like even when you're setting them on the counter to cool off, they're still still heating up another like five degrees or so. So just keep that in mind. These are about in the 128 to 130 range, so not too bad. Check back on them again. Give it another two minutes, and they should be good at this point. They should be about 135 or so. Go ahead and take them off. And look at that. Those are some beautiful, beautiful steaks right there. Check that out. Make sure you turn your grill off. Don't want to use up all your propane. Feel free to add as much or as little extra as you like. This is a judgment-free zone here. So, whatever you like, put a bunch of that on there. Go ahead and flip that end over.
looks like they're about ready to go. I just, I like to give it a little extra time so all that cheese can melt. And definitely be careful when you're pulling these off of the stove because, whoops, uh, because these are going to be very, very hot on the inside and you could very easily for all of the support. I really, really do appreciate it.